Hey, it's Repivision here, and welcome back to Subcontinent Limited. And now we're here to solve the problem of the password, which is Real Olympics plus wife's date of birth, and hopefully solve the overlying puzzle and end it in this episode. That's what we're hoping for here. So, what the info we got is Real Olympics is. 2016 wife's date of birth is uh, February 11th 2017 how many letters one two three four we need to, so maybe just 16 at the front then let's try 16 2 1 2 0 7 5 um let's hope it works Hello, the number you're calling is an operative and won't ever be. Uh, maybe if I just add the Rio Olympics at the end. Didn't work. Like, I thought it was a combination, but what do you mean add it? And we just type it in the phone, correct? Can my tiny brain handle this mess? Think, think, think. Rio Olympics is first, plus the wife's date of birth. Let's go ahead and ask again. Paul Vega. What can you find on Clyde? Clyde, if you need to do a search, it's pretty famous. Oh yeah, I don't have the pleasure. Clyde the maker, enforcer. He's a hack of all trades, demolitions expert. Sounds like a good friend to count with. Be careful, he's really short tempered. What about the Volmont data? Sorry, ghost is, Clyde is a ghost of the system. He doesn't have any medical records to hack. You'll have to do something without impersonating him. Well, it's not like I needed him in the first place. But I need to figure this crap out. I mean, maybe you do have to switch it around. 16, 11, 2, 20, 75. It didn't work. 16 207 5 2 11. One of these will work. No. 16 207 5 11 2. In white state of birth, I don't fucking know. Vega, you got some help for me, dude. Please. Please. Uh, my brain trembles. I don't even know anymore. 2016 2 2 1 1 75. Um, what? Who? Shit, I just spiked my audio, but something just happened. I got the fucking case. Why? Why would you? Why? Why would you have to remove the fucking fir first two digits of the year of, of the of the wife's fucking birthday? Why? Just just why? What kind of bullshit is that? I lit I just spent like 20 minutes fucking sitting here not doing jack shit. Whatever. I forgive you game. I don't give a shit. You gave me the safe. Uh you just uh oh, just give me the fucking safe. 0005550080. That is the password. Well, we're definitely not going to set up the bomb. Why do we need the passcode though? We've got the death. Why'd they leave the detonation to me? Shouldn't the boss know the code too? Why would they just randomly have like three people? Each person has a job. And <laughs> And if one person betrays, the operation ends. The boss must really trust us, huh? What a nice girl. What's that? There's like fucking alcohol in there, some rags. 
I don't really want to call Clyde. Who should I call? I'll call Clyde, but I want I'll make sure I don't give up the fucking codes. Hey. Hey Clyde. About the bombs. I still need to find the codes. Okay. I thought I could like persuade him with the bombs or some shit. Uh, let's, let's call Barbara. All the freaking passwords and stuff you enter on your landline, it's kind of weird. Time is running out. What was her date of birth again? 2nd of, this, 2nd of November 2075. Alright, thanks, bye. Uh, okay, I didn't think that would do anything. There's no one else to call. I can pretend to be Barbara and I can call tech office. I really do not want to detonate these bombs. Francis, who's this? Hello, Francis. Hey, Barbara. Any, any news on those Santoro assholes? Doesn't know about Barbara kidnapping Adrian's wife? I better keep it that way until I need to kick the hornet's nest. Santoro, well, I gotta admit they're giving me a hard time. Don't give up. You've managed to plant the neural disruptor I gave you. Closer than 100 meters of their hideout, we'll own them. But does it have to be tonight? What about CSJ? Other enforcers dealing with that. You focus on the hackers. They'll endanger CSJ if we let them. Enforcers? What about Proxima? Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing you a favor, trust me. Those Proxima losers will have to have many ties with the police. Is Vega's listening to me? Or Vega? Uh, eh. Listening to all my freaking calls. And now, <laughs> I'm just exposing them. Those Proxima losers will have too many ties with the police. They will be busy after the bombs go off. Yeah, about those bombs. Listen, Barbara, with all due respect, go back to work. Back to work. But Don't call me until you finish your assignment. Okay. Santoro. Hmm, now I can call Barbara again. God damn it, I can't do anything. I don't don't make me set up those fucking bombs. I'm not gonna do it. Alright, let's check Adrian's home. Where's our this line's not connected? Try again later. I've got nothing left. I have to detonate the fucking bombs. But no, I'm not gonna no, what? This has to be something else. I've called the tech office with Barbara. I can't call with Clyde. I can call random people by myself. What if I just called the tech office as some random guy? Whoops, I called the wrong number. Five, four, six, seven, please. Good night. I'm calling from the city's central phone system. Good night, how may, I, how may I help you? Good night, sir. As you know, all services will be discontinued tonight. That's right, I'm aware. Are you the owner of this line? Affirmative! I call you to confirm you're one of the 900,000... You're aware of the 900,000 credits fine applied to landline owners who haven't properly cancelled their accounts. What? Now you're telling me now, you bloodsucker piece of shit. You already charged us enough with this obsolete communication system. Come down sir, I'm calling you to ch uh, check out if you're willing to fill out a voice form to properly cancel the line and of course avoid the fine. You bet, what do I need to do? It's easy, just answer a few questions to fill the form with your personal data and that'll be all. For God's sake, alright, go ahead. You gotta fucking think, freaking data on the phone. What happened in the future? I guess that's what happens when technology evolves. Somehow old technology becomes more effective. This guy just got fucking scammed so easily, what the hell? Full name? Francis Coconut. Age 30 years old. I found him, I'm updating the database. Yes, we got Francis, baby. We can continue the mission. I don't have to detonate the bombs. Company? Supercontinental Limited. Hey, we got his hologram. Full name of the CEO of the company. Ra, wait, why do you need all this data? Am I being scammed? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I don't deserve to be on this earth anymore. Please, why? I can't believe I got scammed. The mighty Francis. I may have pushed it too much. Time to bail. 
Don't worry, sir. I'll look it up. Thanks for your cooperation. Wait. <laughs> that guy's just like, oh, fuck, I got scammed. How long has it been? How did I get scammed so easily? And now we got... Um... Let's go ahead and try to impersonate him. No. We got Francis. We can't impersonate him though. I mean, it's, it feels really dumb to use the detonation code. It really does feel dumb as heck. Can I please? Oh no. What do I do? Clyde as Barbara? Let's try that. 555. Five, five. Hey, how's CSJ going? Fucking raw. Fucking raw. Brian was killed. It can't be. How? Listen, I'm gonna expect important calls. Don't miss on your mission. Goodbye. Brian was killed. Brian. Who's Brian? What else can we do? Me to Clyde. I can try. Five, five. We're running low on options. Hey, good night, sir. I'm calling from. I don't know what you. Oh, Clyde. At least he's not dumb as sh he's not dumb enough to fall for a scam like old Francis. It'll probably give me a confirmation to detonate, right? I'm out of options here. I don't I don't have anyone else to call. I can't impersonate anyone else. Ah, uh, fuck! We're gonna have to arm the bombs. Oh no, it's gonna go like game over. Are you an idiot? <laughs> Satellite pulse bomb launcher active. Insert coordinates for deployment. Shit, this is some serious technology. We're talking World War World War 3 banned stuff here. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, Brandis. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Beauty, you truly are a professional. But Proxima only hired you to get the access code. For this little toy. A freelancer's life really sucks, huh? Aha, I'm sorry. You know this business. No hard feelings. But you need to get to this fucking phone to activate it. It's all yours, Detective Yoshida. No! Break the phone! Break the phone! Oh no! Fuck me if I hate neural disruptors. They're so unethical. Uh oh. Break the phone. Uh, what do we do? Can we win this? Oh no. Oh yes. Fuck yes! I knew it. I, uh, I was scrolling over and then I fucking remembered that shit about throwing it across the room and, and, and really wrecking someone. <laughs> I bet the, oh, the game really designed that well, Ma makes you remember it at that moment. That's awesome. I'm sorry Vega, you know how a freelancer's life works. Click. Call Centauro. Connection established. Good night. As requested, I, I discovered who was proximable inside the city police. You know where the why of the funds. As for supercontinent limited orbital orbital bomber, that'll cost you an extra. Supercontinent limited. Thank you for playing. Looks like that's the end to our little three-part series here. Can we go back? Cause I didn't really understand that ending. We caught we called Centora, who was who was Centora again? Uh, I'm gonna have to go back later on the recording and then try to get it from there. I kind of I skipped through the end too fast. Hopefully you guys got it though. And that's it from me. Like if you like if you like if you like the video and subscribe if you like to subscribe. And until next time, vision off.